हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल केमिस्ट्री क्लास सो टूडेज टॉपिक इज पी एच इन एवरी डे लाइफ पी एच इन प्लांट्स एंड ह्यूमन्स डेली लाइफ वेन एवर देर इज एसिड रेन वेन एवर देर इज एसिड रेन दट अकर्स इन द रिवर द पी एच डिक्रीजेस इन द रिवर बिकॉज द रेन इज एसिड इट सेल्फ बिकॉज लेसर द पी एच वैल्यू मोर द एसिडिक नेचर सो दैट्स वाई बिकॉज ऑफ this decrease in ph the fishes and the living organisms they cannot live if it is too acidic that's the reason the living organisms die in the rivers soil ph if you see when they cannot grow if the ph of the soil is too acidic or too basic here there are two conditions in the soil the ph should not be too acidic nor too basic if the soil is too acidic then we can add the we can raise the ph by adding lime because you know lime neutralizes the acids present in the soil whenever you add lime to the soil it neutralizes that means it balances the effect of the acids that are present in the soil so that's uh, that's about soil and acid rain and uh, coming to uh, if the soil is too alkaline it can be made slightly acidic as the ph will be lowered if we add gypsum see if the soil is too alkaline alkaline means uh, too much of basic nature ph value 12 13 14 11 so then it can be made slightly acidic we can slightly reduce the ph level uh, how we can reduce the ph level we can reduce the ph level by adding gypsum you can add gypsum to the soil because see gypsum can neutralize the excess alkali present in the soil that means gypsum is having some acidic character which can neutralize the excess alkali that means excess basic character to neutralize the basic character you need acid to neutralize the acidic character you need a base so that's what vice versa so gypsum can neutralize the excess alkali present in the soil so if you see in the example of stomach uh, in stomach there is one acid called hcl and hcl is a very very strong acid too much and and if there is too much of acid in the stomach then you get pain stomach pain and also ulcers so that's when uh, the patients are given antacid tablets why antacid tablets are suggested antacid tablets are suggested for high acidity antacids what they what do they do they neutralize the excess acid present in the stomach that means antacids are kind of a basis because they neutralize the excess acid present in the stomach and uh, mgoh twice is magnesium hydroxide so when you add a magnesium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide is nothing but which is it is present in the antacid tablets and antacid tablets they act as mild bases so uh, when whenever this goes into the stomach in stomach there is hcl so this equation mgoh twice plus 2 hcl hcl is an acid so base plus acid gives us salt and water as we have read in our previous classes salt is mgcl2 magnesium chloride is salt just like sodium chloride and water is h2o the formula of water is h2o mgcl2 is mg is magnesium cl2 is chloride so magnesium chloride is a salt and two moles of hcl is this acid present in the stomach it is a very strong acid and mgoh twice is magnesium hydroxide that is present in the antacid tablets and magnesium hydroxide is a mild base that means it is not a strong base or not a weak base it is just a mild base so in the previous classes we have discussed that when you add acid to a base you get salt and water this is what we call neutralization reaction and if you see one thing we use toothpaste daily in the morning so toothpaste they are bases that means uh, since they are bases if you brush your teeth they prevent tooth decay because they react with the acids present in your teeth and they prevent tooth decay tooth decay is not good for your teeth so ph in mouth if it is less than 5.5 that means if the ph in mouth the value of ph in mouth is uh, becoming very acidic uh, uh, 7 is okay and 6 is okay but if but if it's less than 5.5 that is becoming it is starting to become acidic in character so that's when the enamel uh, which is the hardest layer in present in our body it gets damaged as you all know that enamel is the hardest part or layer in our body bacteria present in our mouth produce acids bacteria which is present in your mouth they produce acids by degradation of sugar the sugar gets degraded and they and these bacteria only produce acids and food particles present in the mouth so this causes decaying the food particles are stuck in your 
mouth so that's why you need to brush regularly to prevent that to to prevent the bacteria from producing acids and they degrade your teeth that's when you get tooth decay so cleaning our mouth and brushing is the best way to avoid this so much more about this we'll be learning in the next classes and also i'll be bringing bringing up new topics every day so please subscribe to my channel and also please spread the word about my channel uh, we are also going to do videos on 6th to 12th standard from next week and the videos are going to be much more longer than now so once again if you want to if you want me to give a recap on what we have studied we have studied about acid rain and how we how the acid rain affects river as the ph gets reduced and also we also studied about soil ph it cannot uh, uh, grow if the ph of soil is too acidic or too basic so we also learned about gypsum being uh, slightly acidic since it neutralizes the um, acidic uh, basic character so the stomach also in hcl is a strong acid we also learned about the ulcers and antacid tablets we also seen the equation the antacid tablets reacting with uh, acid in our stomach which gives salt and water this is an example of neutralization reaction we also talked about tooth decay the advantage of brushing our teeth toothpaste and also what happens when uh, the ph value is less than 5.5 in our mouth and we also talked about the enamel which is being the hardest uh, layer in our body and also uh, we talked about tooth decay and also um, finally i would like to say that uh, please encourage me by subscribing to our channel and also please leave a like and also if you have any doubt regarding this concept you can ask me in the comment section down below thank you everyone until next time bye